Uh, we thank God for the apostles that came along after them who gathered the teachings of the Lord Jesus while he was here in the flesh. Uh, we are certainly very, very grateful always uh, for our dearly beloved brother and pastor, Pastor Jennings, who we've known for a few decades now. Uh, I want you to continue to pray for him as he continues to teach the gospel uh, that has to be preached across the entire world. It's a major work and the most important thing that one can give attendance to in this life. Uh, we greet all the saints who are listening and watching uh, from other parts of the world and certainly the viewers and the listeners. I'd uh, just like to remind you always that this is the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program uh, coming to you from this, our international headquarters church located at 5105 North 5th Street. That's at the intersection of North 5th Street and Lindley Avenue in the city of Philadelphia here in Pennsylvania in the United States of America where the Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, and he's our guide in the scriptures of truth. Uh, we thank him always, uh, certainly for this, the one and only true gospel that's being preached by this broadcast. And this broadcast is intended to bring uh, you to the knowledge of the truth, to the knowledge of the truth of God's word, that you may get yourselves ready to enter into life eternal or into damnation. Uh, listen carefully as Pastor Jennings preaches the word of God. We're going to present him to you at this point in time, our leader, teacher, guide, and messenger of God himself, the apostle, Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Once again, we are uh, thankful to the Most High God for his divine wisdom, his perfect and infallible understanding of all things. We are indebted to him. <clears throat> for opening up the understanding of the apostles that they might understand the scriptures. We are forever in his debt yes. for bringing to us the way of holiness to put us on the straight path. And when holiness puts you on the straight path, it's up to you to try to remain on that straight path. I thank God for all of our ministers that are present and to the ministers internationally to all of our beloved brothers and sisters around the world, we are thanking God for the constant work that's taking place everywhere. The amount of souls that continue to come and cooperate with the message of holiness. Yeah. <clears throat> you want God to cooperate with you, then you're going to have to come and cooperate with him. I believe one woman said to another, your God shall be my God. Your people shall be my people. And your God shall be my God. And when you die, I'll die and be buried there also. So uh, you have to be committed. And without question, we are committed to what God says and getting this message out. <clears throat> As I mentioned about the bishop who come to walk the truth, who was under T.D. Jakes, and he got baptized over he. Him and I talked today during the break. Since he uh, is making the correction, and he himself got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and now he's teaching it correct. Before then, he was just teaching being baptized in Jesus' name. Excellent. And he told the followers that he had that, you know, all of you going to have to do it over and do it right. And he began to explain repentance and whatnot. <clears throat> well, him and I talked today, since that time, uh, which was about, what, two weeks ago that we was in Columbia? Since that time, uh, he contacted me, he baptized over, including some uh, new souls uh, that's been watching the program, 188 souls, <laughs> which is a blessing. He began to tell me, he said, Pastor Jennings, I'm determined to do this thing right. In fact, he laughed. He said, now I'm holy and sanctified. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm holy and sanctified now. And uh, so it's a blessing. And we are looking forward. Uh, he and I will be discussing quite a bit. I told him, I said, we got a lot to talk about. He said, we most certainly do. He said, but I humbly submit. Uh, to whatever you bring, he said, you, you've been doing this. Wonderful. And by the grace of God, we have been doing this. We have been preaching the word of God for about 45 years. Sure. Long time, 
and we have been leading the people of God. We've been leading God's people for 37 years. And uh, God has given us success. And I can say we have a blessed testimony that since the work started, we have never went backward. The work has never decreased. You know how some men get at a certain point and knock off. And they just stuck there for years. I'm so glad that we have never uh, been victims of such a condition. Uh, God have added daily such as should be saved. And uh, again, since the break, my phone been pinging and pinging and pinging because souls are going down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ and the ministers are reaching out to us. Uh, so far, uh, 12 in headquarters, one in New Brunswick, two Newport News, two in Columbia, two in Rocky Mount, one in Detroit, three in Atlanta, four in Houston, two in Monroe, Louisiana, one in Baltimore, and as I mentioned, 188 there in Myrtle Beach, one in Florence, one in Memphis. Added to the number uh, from this morning, that's 220 more, bringing us 458 souls. <laughs> 458 souls. When are you fighters going to realize that you just cannot do anything, I mean anything, against this great Holy Ghost filled message? Only God can give you consistency like this. That's true. And only God can give you great divine results like this. That's right. And I'm so grateful that it is reaching the Arab nations. So many more Arab nations is hollering out for the baptism. In the name of Jesus Christ, there in Europe, throughout Africa, uh, throughout uh, the Caribbean, and across the Atlantic, across the Pacific. So our mission, we're not blurry or distracted or confused. Our mission is plain. Preach the gospel to every creature. That's right. He that believeth, believe what? The gospel. And is baptized shall be saved. But he that don't believe it, woe unto you. God promise you will be damned. I greet all of our ministers and all the churches around the world, all of our brothers and sisters that are watching. Again, I'd be so glad when all the countries open up, all of them, that we may be able to come in person again, bring you the word of God, because we have our Malawi Convention and Mozambique Convention that has to take place. But it's amazing what God is doing just with this word being preached, how so many eyes are coming open and understanding is being enlightened. And that's what I want to see and that's what I have to see. I have to see that. I, 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 I want to see God live up to what he said. Amen. You know, you can read about God as a healer, but don't you want the experience? You can read about the day of Pentecost, but don't you want to experience it? You can read about how he added daily such as should be saved, but would you want to be in something and nobody has never added daily? No. No. The word of God. Hallelujah. There's consistency. Glory be to God. Consistency in God's order. And I expect that consistency to continue to be Fulfilled to the letter. All right, let's go to work in the book of scriptures. I'm going to brief you, God be my helper. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I want to remind everybody of the International Holy Convocation that's coming up in July. I believe that's July 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Amen. You go onto the website, make your plans now. Amen. You just make your plans now to be here. God be our helper. You're going to have to get here early. Amen, because people, they be thinking like others. Sometimes the church be open 7 o'clock in the morning, and people be already on the parking lot. That's true. I, I kid you not, they be already on the parking lot so they can claim they see. That's true. Amen, why? You know, I had one mother said, I have never seen people uh, rushing 
to get to church in my life. I have never seen people excited and enthused to get to church. Amen. And you see it too. Everywhere we go in the world, people are excited, enthused, rushing to get to church. Wherever we are, people are rushing, getting there early. Hungry. You know the Bible says, he that hungry and thirsts after righteousness shall be filled. And uh, if you went a long time without eating, like coming off a three-day and three-night fast, you're hungry. You're ready to eat. And sometimes you feel like you can eat anything, everything. But when you're wise, your stomach lining has shrunk and you have to take your time. When I fast seven days and seven nights on several occasions, then God moved on me to go 12 days and 12 nights on a few occasions. I was hungry without a shadow <laughs> of a doubt. I was certainly hungry. I was dreaming about eating things I don't eat. I never forget I dreamt that I was uh, on Amtrak train and <laughs> I walked through the train and the door came open and there was a hot dog. That was the length of the train in my dream. And, uh, and I'm, I'm not a hot dog eating person at all. But uh, all of this fasting and praying and laboring to do this thing right is a contributing factor to your spiritual development, your spiritual enhancement, your spiritual growth in God. It is not just coming to church. Coming to church is part of your divine diet because you must eat God's word. But also fasting and praying is a contributing factor to that diet. Think of it. Not eating strengthen you in God. Totally opposite. Fasting and praying. Not eating. Depriving yourself sometimes of your food. Thank God. Strengthen your spiritual stamina. Yeah. That's right. And this is what you need on a day like today. Spiritual stamina. Yeah. That's right. The enhancement of spiritual stability. To the degree that you can be exposed to any kind of religion out here in the world. And you don't hear nothing that sway you away from God. You're not exposed to nothing that sway you away from God. Even in conversation, nothing nobody can say to even make you consider anything that sway you away from God because there's steadfastness there. Spiritual stamina. You better give me the fifth chapter of the book of Galatia. Let me brief you there. Mm -hmm. God willing, and I want to build on that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Follow me and let me soak you a little. Galatians chapter 5, we'll start at verse 1. All right. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Now, I want you to hear this, brothers and sisters, friends, and to my wonderful, hateful enemies. Hmm. The Bible says, stand fast, therefore, in the liberty means stand fast, therefore, in the freedom. Wherewith Christ hath made us free. What did God free us from? Bondage. Bondage. Sin is bondage, yet there's a form of freedom there. That's right. The freedom that you have in sin, you're doing what you want to do, how you want to do it, where you want to do it at. Yeah. But that sin is also bondage, bondage. Because it binds you to an everlasting eternal judgment that threatens you to be judged and you won't be able to reign with God throughout eternity. God says, stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made you free and be not entangled again. Hold it. If it tells us don't be entangled again, that again is pointing to something former. That's right. What we used to be in. That's right. And God is telling us don't be entangled again, meaning don't go back. Don't be trapped. Don't be, trapped. Don't be captured again. With the yoke of bondage. You know, you put a yoke on an ox, then uh, you can pull that ox left or right. That's right. If you are entangled again with the yoke of bondage, 
than the thing that have you bound, the thing that have you hostage, the thing that have you imprisoned can pull you to the left or pull you to the right because there's a yoke on your mind. That's right. There's a yoke on your heart. Yeah. There's a yoke on your flesh. And if you're not careful, there may be a yoke on your spirit. That's right. Satan manipulates that yoke, meaning he manipulates your direction by telling you to go left or go right or just say, oh, <laughs> That's right. and stop you. That's right. And then when he stops you, he may dismantle you. Yeah. That's why the Bible tells us that this scripture here is encouraging us and warning us simultaneously. That's right. Listen. Galatians 5 and verse 1. Stand fast, therefore. Hold it. Hmm. Stand. Stand. Compound word here. Mm -hmm. Stand. St fast. And fast. That's right. Stand. <laughs> And fast. That's right. Two words put together. Make one. Stand, hold your ground. Fast, neglect yourself. Stand, hold your ground. Fast, deprive yourself. Stand, be firm. Fast, you know when you fast, you're offering up. So, Self-denial enhance one's stand. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling? That's right. Stand fast. So if I deny myself fast, if I'm fasting, that's self-denial. That's right. And by me denying myself, I'm enhancing and increasing my ability to stand. So for me to stand, I need to fast. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen at this. I want to itemize it. Stand fast. Chapter and verse again. Galatians chapter 5, we're at verse 1. Stand fast. Stand fast, therefore, therefore, in the liberty. Hold it. For you to stand in the freedom. You know, once God liberates you, in war, when the enemy captures a city, you have the other armies come to liberate that city and the citizens of that city. Pain is produced in order to liberate that people. That's right. Death is brought about. Affliction is brought about. Then sometimes the liberation don't happen quick. Right. They got to fight it out yeah. night after night. Week after week, yeah. month after month, or year after year, but they are so determined to liberate the people from the anguish afflicted upon them by the enemy, they stay at it. That's right. Until they pound the city, pound the enemy so much, the enemy throw up a white flag, yeah. surrendering. But liberation comes. So God's word had to pound on us. Oh, yes. Until we throw up the white flag. That's right. Letting God know, I'm not going to resist no more. That's right. I'm not going to fight it no more. Right. I give up. Yes. I give in. Yes. Hallelujah. I give over. Yes. In other words, I just surrender. That's right. Now, once you surrender, you must be instructed, taught how to stand. Right. How to be solid, how to be firm, how to be sound. Right. And in order to stand fast in the liberation that God brings, fasting helps one to stand. That's right. Stand fast. Stand fast, therefore. Stand firm. Yeah. When you're steadfast, you're rooted. That's right. Grounded. Settle. Right. Now moved away from the hope of the gospel that was preached to every creature that is Hallelujah. under heaven. And the apostles Paul said, Whereof I, Paul, am made a minister. That's right. You know, I travel Hallelujah. the world by God's permission. 
I done been in mosques. I done been in synagogues. I have been in uh, around Buddhist temples. I have been to, uh, what is that religion down there in India? Hindu. Hindu. Hindu temples. Well, out of all the representatives of these religions <laughs> around the world, not one, and I mean not one, out of all the good they do and out of all the beliefs they have, not one corrupt my standfastness. Wonderful. Why? Because to stand fast, you got to have a hallelujah. You got to have a foundation. That's right. And God must be that foundation. That's right. If your foundation become corrupt, corrosion sets in. Then your foundation start to deteriorate, but what deteriorates your foundation is when you start to swerve. That's right. Glory be to God. That's right. When you start to swerve, it weakens your foundation. That's right. No, hallelujah. No more fasting. Thank God. No more praying. And then you deceive yourself thinking, I can stand without these essential things that God told me to oh, do. That's right. That keep me with him. That's right. If I deprive myself from doing the essential things. In the book of Isaiah chapter 58. That God, glory to God, told me to do that ties me to him yeah. I can't stay with him that's right because if I stop doing the necessary things the tie that I have with him the knot get loose that's right hmm. hallelujah hallelujah come on thank God when the knot get loose then the Bible says they way shall become a slippery way they shall be driven on, yeah. or it take God and fall therein. Oh, you know, have you ever tied your shoe and you thought you tied it tight? Yeah. And before you know it, you look down, the strings unravel. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. Sometimes you think you tied tight in God yes. and you got too comfortable. Wherefore? And the, yeah, and the things you used to do that gave you that tight knot, you stopped doing it. And now you too blind and, and you deceive yourself because now you're not getting loose. Yeah. And these are the symptoms of you're not getting loose yeah. because the things you used to believe, you don't believe it no more. That's according to the word of God. That's right. So now that you're not got loose, you know your, your mind got to be tied tight. Yeah. Oh, repeat to God to the word. That's right. When your mind is not tied tight, tight to the word, You'll get too close to friends. Mm -hmm. And then they give you some fake revelation you'll start to consider. And the objective of that wicked man or wicked woman or wicked boy or wicked girl is to loosen the knot that you had tight in the scripture. That's right. And when they start, hallelujah, when they start loosening the knot that you had in the scriptures, now they got you believing in more than one God. Right. Now they got you denouncing the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Now they got you fighting against speaking in tongues. Now they got you believing there's more, there's three gods and yeah. two gods and Jesus Christ is not God. Everything that's on the foundation of the apostles, that's right. now you start to disbelieve, thinking it's a greater revelation when there's nothing but an old expanded lie. <laughs> that's right. That's right. What you have, son? I have Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 12. Hear this? Wherefore their way. The shall, where, wherefore their way shall be unto them as slippery shall ways. Shall be unto them as slippery ways. In the darkness. In the darkness. They shall be driven their on. Their way shall be unto them as slippery ways into the darkness. They shall be driven on and fall oh, therein. Oh, they shall be driven on and fall therein. For I will bring evil upon them. God said, I'm going to bring evil on you. Even the year of their visitation, saith the Lord. You know, I'm glad I didn't do like a lot of preachers. You know, a lot of preachers get a work large like this. They start of changing yeah. on Bible principle That's for right. the sole purpose to increase membership. Mm -hmm. That's true. We have some that used to be in the truth of God. Yeah. Ran out now, believing you can divorce. That's right. 
And they thought that will increase membership. That's right. Don't believe Jesus Christ is God no more. Mm -hmm. They thought that would increase membership. Yeah. In other words, the devil get in folk and tell them, if you just start believing what everybody else believe and start doing what everybody else is doing, then uh, you will start getting a crowd like everybody else got. That's right. God have convinced me years ago that you don't have to go to the left. No. Nor to the right. Just follow his pattern. That's right. And take, blessed be the name of God, his advice. That's right. Well, what is his advice? If I, blessed be God, be lifted up from the earth. Will draw all men I'll unto me. Draw all men. Unto Drawing me. all men simply means I draw all nations. That's right. Unto me. I took Jesus' advice. I took his advice. Hallelujah. And stuck to that. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God. Not going to the left, not going to the right for nobody. That's right. And no time. That's right. And no place. Glory to God, and God has proven himself. Yes, he has. One scripture says, prove me here therewith. Herewith. He has proven himself. In the book of 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 16. Listen at this. How be it for this cause, How be it for this I reason, obtain mercy. I obtain mercy. That in me first. That in me first. Jesus Christ might show forth all long suffering. Jesus Christ may show forth all long suffering. For a pattern. A pattern. To them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. Do you hear that? That's right. We got a Hallelujah. pattern. Hallelujah. God, we got an example here. That's right. Amen. So I followed that example and lift him up. him up. That's why we preach Jesus to him crucified and the rest of the doctrine and the teaching that he gave the prophets and the apostles. That's right. That's because right. the Bible says, eat the whole roll. That's right. All of it. How right. I, I got to eat all of it. And right. I must admit, it don't feel good all the time. It tastes good. Tastes but it don't always feel good. <laughs> That's right. Someone said, how can something taste good and not feel good? Have you ever ate something that tastes wonderful? And then later on, you felt sick on the, on the stomach? That's yeah. right. Well, notice when it got in the mouth, as it written in the book of Revelation, it chapter was sweet as honey. Verse eight. Listen at this. Revelation chapter 10 and at verse 8. Yes. And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again. And said what? And said, go and take the little book. Go and take the little book. Which is open in the hand which of the angel. Which is open in the hand of the angel. Which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. What is it? And I went unto the angel. And I said, went to the angel. And said unto him, give me the little give book. Give me. I got something else in mind. That's right. But ain't what the angel said. The angel ain't saying, I'm going to give it to you. No. Take. Clear instructions is given. That let you know, viewers, you got to, when you take a thing, you want it. That's right. And you got to show God that you want it. That's right. And when you show God, hallelujah, bless God, when hallelujah. you show God that you want it, thank God you are taken. That's right. Meaning you are digested. That's right. You are submit to it. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you want it. That's right. Uh -huh. And he said unto me, take it and eat it up. Take it. Thanks be unto the great God and eat it up. And it shall make thy belly bitter. It's going to make your belly bitter. But it shall be in thy mouth Thanks sweet God, as honey. Well, when it's in your mouth, uh, it'll make you happy. And I took the little book out of the angel's and hand and sweet as honey it mean it make you happy. You begin to rejoice. That's right. Uh -huh, because that's when you first got exposed to it. That's right. But when it hit your belly now... When it hit your belly. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. Sweet as honey, but when it got to my belly. And as soon as I had as eaten. As soon as I ate it. My belly was bitter. It don't take long. It don't take long. When you start realizing what this consists of. That's right. Oh, my God. You mean to tell me I can't divorce and remarry? That's right. I got to wait for this devil to die. And can't live together, not marry, can't gamble, can't, can't play the lottery. And <laughs> I, 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 I can't wear this and can't wear that. And God, the woman got to pray with her head covered. No more smoking, no more partying, no more drinking. Can't go to the club no more. Can't go to the boom, boom, boom. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Amen. That's what right. did he say? As soon as I had eaten it. How quick? As soon as I had eaten oh. it. Oh. My belly was bitter. As soon. You know, you get this thing down in you, and you start understanding what it consists of. Yeah. Self-denial oh. brings self-pain. That's right. 
Doesn't it? Oh, yes. I said self-denial. Anybody tell you this way is easy, then there's something wrong. So, something wrong. Hey, man, either you had a laid-back child, you wasn't exposed to nothing out here, or you was raised up on a farm with a bunch of lilies, and, <laughs> hey, man, everybody just singing to you. You had a choir in the background, la, 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 Tiny Tim music playing to you every day, <laughs> just tiptoeing through the two of but That's brother... Right. The Bible says, endure hardness. hardness. Man, serving God is the most difficult yes, task under the sun. That's right. You're asked to do something that a man don't normally do. That's right. Deny yourself. Deny because yourself. you hear Brother Solomon says, mm -hmm. I withheld not my heart from, from any joy. From any joy. What was Solomon tell you? I wasn't denying myself. That's right. Solomon let you know I went after everything. That's right. Everything. Thank God. But the conclusion of all his indulgence was in vain. In vain. Vanity. 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 Solomon said, I withheld not my heart from any joy. Any joy. That means everything I imagined. Everything I felt to yeah. do, I said in my heart. I done it. That's right. But listen at this. Now listen of, at this. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter two. I want this to be one. good for you that are watching and you that are sitting here. Hear this now. In Ecclesiastes, chapter two, in the first verse. What is it? I said in my heart, go to now. Right, wait a minute. Amen. You see, the Bible said the heart is the most deceitful thing and desperately wicked. That's right. I said where? I said in my heart. Ah, uh, where the emotions lie. He was craving something. That's right. I said in my heart. Go to now. Let's go. Let's get busy. I will prove thee with I mercy. Said, I said to my heart, it's on. It's not, that's, <laughs> that's right. Oh, it's on. Let's get ready now. That's right. Nah. I will prove thee with mercy. I will prove thee with mercy. Therefore, enjoy pleasure. Ah. Uh, hmm. Enjoy pleasure. That's the flesh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And that's right. That's the flesh talk. Enjoy pleasure. Because to everybody, everybody got different forms of pleasure. Right. What may be pleasure to one may grieve another. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. But Solomon says. I said in my heart, go to now. Where was it? In my heart. Glory to God. That's right. I said in my heart. Go to now. Let's get Busy. I will prove thee with mirth. I'm going to prove you with mirth. Therefore, enjoy pleasure. Let's have fun. Let's have a good time. That's you, viewers. Oh, yeah. Many of you watching me now blowing smoke at your flat screen. <laughs> Many of you watching me now just cussing and they're just doing all type of stuff at your computer screen. Okay. Hey, man, I know you are. Hey, man, you laying in bed now with your girlfriend as if you're offending me. No. <laughs> You're not offending me because oh, no. you're on your way to hell, man. <laughs> That's right. And I'm okay. just trying to tell you what's right so you and that woman don't go to hell. That's right. All right. I said in my heart, go to now. Go to now. I will prove thee with mirth. What is it? Therefore, enjoy pleasure. Enjoy pleasure. And behold, this also is vanity. Wait a minute. Hmm. What is it? I, and behold, this also is vanity. You know, only God can say that in a man. That's true. How? Because God bring that man to reality of what life is. That's right. Out of all the pleasure in the world, this also is the vanity. The conclusion is it's vanity. Mm -hmm. Come on, son. I said of laughter, it is mad. Sitting back, just sitting around joking, a whole group of you joking, joking. falling out, laughing. That's right. Hey, man, like, like a bunch of mad people can't stop laughing. That's right. Uh -huh. I said of laughter, it is mad. It's mad. And of mirth, what doeth it? What doeth it? I sought in my heart to give myself unto wine. Ah, go and drink it out. That's, That's you, viewers. That's right. You're a bunch of TV watching, computer watching drunks. <laughs> Many of you Christian liquor drinkers, you drink more than an alcoholic and still go to Sam Church. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Amen. Solomon saw you. I sought in my heart. I sought in my heart. In my heart. To give myself unto one. You know, when you want to be holy, you got to go opposite from your heart. Oh, yeah. You ain't got that lick in the brown paper bag no more. No wine no tasting, no sir. Right. Amen. Someone said, well, Pastor Jenner, the Bible allow you to drink wine at all? The Bible said, drink no longer water, but use a little wine yes. for thy stomach's sake and often infirmities. Right. So when the Bible points out for your stomach's sake and often infirmities and the Lord's Supper, it's used the term a little. A little. That means it's so much of a little, then uh, you shouldn't get drunk off a little. That's right. A quart is not a little. A pint is not a little. No. A jug is not a little. A, a gallon, that sure is not a little. That's not a little. That's a little wine a little for wine. your stomach's sake. That means if you got a condition that calls for it. Yeah. Amen. That'll mean if you got a little gas pain. That's right. 
Am I right, actually? That's right. You got a little gas pain, you know, you need to free yourself. And you're like, oh, got a pain. Oh, Why? No, 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 no. Oh, no. No, no. No. Hey, go and take right. God. Come on, William. I saw it in my heart to give myself unto wine. Hey, man, you ever saw it in your heart to give yourself to wine? I haven't did that. You then. haven't did that? I haven't did that. No? No. Hey, man, not even in your heart? Not in my heart. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. <laughs> what about beer? I had a little left. Yeah. <laughs> was it nasty? Yeah. It, it was so okay. Yeah. We better keep reading for <laughs> We better keep reading for he run out of here. <laughs> Come on, Will. I saw it in my heart to give myself <laughs> unto wine. Amen. <laughs> give yourself unto wine. Yet acquainting my heart with wisdom. Acquainting my heart with wisdom. And to lay hold on Wait folly. a minute. Wait a minute. Solomon said he don't want with folly. Yet, let, yet acquainting my heart with wisdom and, and to lay, lay hold, hold on folly. Oh man, this man didn't know he just want folly. <laughs> he wanted to hold it. Lay hold on folly. Lay hold on it. He wanted to hold folly and wasn't folly to hold him. That's right. Uh -huh. Till I might see what was that good for the sons of men. I want to see what good you can get out of it. What's good for the sons of men. Which they should do under the heaven all the days of In their life. In other words, I was on a search. That's I right. wanted to find out Everything I indulge in is this what men should do, do while they live on the earth. That's right. And I made me great works. Wait a minute. Had great works. I built me houses. Built houses. I planted me vineyards. Got in real estate. I made me gardens. Got vineyards. Some folk got a little old fruit bowl and beside themselves. <laughs> Here's right. a man had vineyards, vineyards and had orchards. That's right. And I made me gardens and orchards. Had gardens and orchards. And I planted trees in them of all I kinds of I imagine fruits. somebody missed church because they wanted to work in the garden mm. and plant flowers for yourself. You're going to miss church That's right. because uh, you want to plant flowers for yourself? Or you, you love your garden that much? Mm. God will get insects charged. They kill your entire garden. Yes, he Everything will. you plant, God will charge the insects and tell them, eat it up. <laughs> That's right. Eat it up, I said. That's right. All that hard work you done done, you come out the next morning, you spraying everything that don't work. <laughs> Amen. 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 Don't you ever put anything under the sun in front of God. That's right. Uh -huh. I made me gardens and orchards. I made me gardens and orchards. And I planted trees and them planted of all trees. kinds of fruits. Hallelujah. Fruit. All kinds of fruit. I made me pools of water. I had pools of water. To water them water with the wood, that, the bring wood forth trees. that bring forth trees. I got me servants and I maidens. Got, I got servants. I got maids. And had servants and born got, in my house. Look at it. I got servants born right under my roof. Also, I had great possessions of I great got, and small I, I power. Own, I owned a whole lot. That's right. Uh -huh. Above all that were in Jerusalem before me, yes. I gathered me silver and gold. Look at him. Look at what Solomon is telling you. That's right. He's not overlooking nothing no. the way folks have possessions today. That's right. He had it all. That's I right. had what? I gathered me also silver and gold. You know, some folk, God bless them with a new car, they change. They get yeah. a new house, they change. They get a new suit of clothing, new dress, new hat, new pocketbook, they change. Before, uh, before he had that suit on, he just had jeans. He got in service, just clapping. <laughs> now he got that new suit, now he's scared to sweat in it. Yeah. That's and, right, that's right. Amen. She, she, she got that wrangler, that jean skirt on, and just that blouse and some sneakers. She in the spirit, glorify God, and you can't even contain her. That's right. Amen. The ones in front of us getting hurt by her. Ones in back of her, it got a back up. Why? She, she's on the loose. She's on the loose. Amen. Now she got on her Sunday best. The Holy Ghost only getting her neck now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That's right. You, you see what I'm telling you? That's right. Before then, they were taking their coat and trolling it around like they're rooting for the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to Come God. on, son. I gather me also silver and gold. Yes. And the peculiar treasure of kings uh -huh. and of the province. Yes. I got me men singers and women The singers. peculiar treasures of clean kings, kings. Then you know that Solomon was a, a, a collector. That's right. And he also collects things. That's right. Real quick. I got me men singers and women singers. I love music. I, had, I, I didn't have the recordings. I had live music. 
That's right. So I'm gonna let you know he ain't had no recorders. I had live music, man. That's, that's right. I had men singers. And women singers. And had women singers. And the delights of the sons of men. And the delight of the sons of men. As musical instruments. I had um, instrumentalists just played music for me whenever I wanted. And that of all sorts. And all kinds. So I was great. Ah, did you hear? I was great. And increased more than all that were before me in Jerusalem. I had everything. Mm. But what? Also my wisdom remained with me. My wisdom, out of all I had, I didn't lose my senses. And whatsoever mine eyes desired. Whatever my eyes looked at. I kept not from them. Wow. <laughs> whatsoever. I hope you listen to this. <laughs> That's right. Because your eyes see all kind of things. Oh, yes. Somebody said, well, Pastor Jesus, does that mean don't ask me nothing? Whatsoever my eyes desire. The Bible says whatsoever. My eyes desire. Well, Pastor Jesus, does that mean don't ask me nothing? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, Pastor Jesus, suppose he looked at, don't ask me nothing. <laughs> That's right. Whatsoever my eyes he desire. He spoke plain here. Whatsoever my eyes desire. Whatever. Amen. My eyes wanted. I kept not from them. I kept not from them. That's right. Mm -hmm. I withheld not my heart. I did not hold my heart. From any joy. Anything that gave my heart satisfaction. That's right. Anything that gave my heart pleasure. Yes. Anything that was pleasant. I had it. I went after it. I got it. I made it my business to get it. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Listen. And whatsoever my eyes desired, I kept not from them. Yeah. I withheld not my heart from any joy. And For my heart rejoiced in all my labor. My heart got happy in all my work. And this was my portion this of was all my, my labor. This was my portion of all my labor. Then, then, I looked on all the works. I begin to reflect now. That my hands had wrought. Did you hear this? That's right. I begin to reflect. I begin to think now. I begin to reevaluate everything I indulged in. And on the labor that I had labored to do. All the labor that I had labored to do. And behold. And when I concluded after my thorough investigation. All was vanity and vexation of spirit. Mm. All of it. All was vanity. Hallelujah. All the music. All the men singers. All the women singers. Yeah. Everything he saw that he got. Uh, everything he owned. Uh, everything he built. Everything he possessed. All was vanity. Some of it. All was vanity. Half of it. All was vanity. Little bits and pieces of it. All was vanity. He had 700 wives and 300 concubines, but his conclusion was. All was vanity. Had handmaidens born in his house, but what? All was vanity. Men singers and women singers. All was vanity. He didn't withhold his heart from any joy. All was vanity. All of his indulgence, he sought out pleasure and laughter and madness. All was vanity. And what? And vexation of spirit. And it vexed the spirit. And there was no profit under the sun. When I concluded, none of what I had did I gain anything from it. And I turned myself. That, that's right. I didn't gain nothing no from it. Viewers, rich people that are watching and listening. Hallelujah. <laughs> you can have everything you have or everything Hallelujah. you want. That's right. It's in vain. That's right. Amen. Solomon is one of the greatest lessons of vanity that you can get the man that had everything. That's right. That's and right. was able to conclude. All was vanity. Everything is in vain. And vexation of spirit. And vexation of spirit. And there was no profit under the sun. Out of everything I got, didn't gain nothing by it. And I turned myself to behold wisdom and madness and now, folly. Now I began to look at wisdom, mm -hmm. madness, folly. For what can the man do that cometh after the king? What can a man do that cometh after the king? Even that which has been that already done. Which has been already done. Then I saw that then wisdom excelleth folly. That wisdom is greater than the things I want to indulge in. As far that's as what light, I'm trying to tell you, viewers. That's, that's right. what I'm trying to tell you. Right. That wisdom is greater than folly. In other words, the information of God is better than your worldly indulgence. That's right. For the information of God is the wisdom of God. Right. It's greater than folly. It's better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's better than sin. It's better than the club. It's better than your happiness in a false church. Wonderful. It's better than your second marriage. It's better than your third wife. That's it's right. better than your third husband. It's better than being a millionaire. Go Glory ahead. to God. The Holy Ghost said. Then I saw that wisdom is Then I saw. Go ahead. In other words, you got to see it for see yourself. It. That's right. 
é. Then I saw. Thanks be unto God, you got to see it for yourself. That's right. Then I saw. That wisdom excels all. Sometimes I see preachers they brag about what they have. They can own any car on the lot. They can own any house. Who cares what you can own? Okay. Nobody cares nothing about that trash. That's right. I've met men that come and say that to me, and I just got a deaf ear mm. trying to impress me. I wouldn't care if you can own, raise a skunk farm That's and right. make a perfume from the spray. My Lord. What would I care? That's right. I know everything under the sun is going to pass away along with the users. That's right. Uh -huh. Then I saw that wisdom excelleth folly. I look at all the work that God is blessing us to do. Amen. I don't glory in it. No. I glory in God. Right. Because the reality is this. All of it is going to pass away. That's right. And I know this. That's right. All the churches we build, all the churches we buy, all the properties that the church has, it's all going to end up in vain. That's right. So I'm saying, well, why are you doing it? Because God charged us to build a work for him. Yeah. Thank God. But uh, it's just temporary. Yes. It's like he, Jesus said himself. That I go away to prepare a place for you, that where I am, you may be also. So when a man get ready to get married, he prepare a place for the bride to be. That's right. Whether it's apartment or a house, but he go prepare a place so uh, when they get married, there she be also. That's right. So whenever we travel the world and people are coming by the hundreds, we labor to prepare a place yeah. which calls us to sacrifice time and sleep and travel and work hard, right. trying to meet the needs, what is necessity. Right. Thank God for the growth of the work of the Lord. Right. But when it's all done, all done. it's all going to pass away. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. All this big, beautiful camp is here. And the building that I'm looking for, God, to bless us to build. Mm. Amen. 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 And amen. That's right. Glory be to God. It's all in vain. Then I looked on all the works. It's going to pass away. That's right. The Bible says I looked on all my works. That my hands had that wrought. That my hands have wrought. And on the labor that I had labored you to do. You know, it takes God to get a hold of a man to see this. Oh, yeah. If he don't, if he don't, that man gonna keep glorying in what he have That's right. and think what he have is so much. You ain't got nothing. No. That man, just every millionaire that died didn't take a bar of gold with him. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And man, I'm told, you know, I believe that's in India, the Taj Mahal. Yeah. There, I believe in the central part of India. Well, according to history, it's really a uh, a tomb. For a, a for the king of that time that he built it for his wife, his wife. Yeah. that the entire Taj Mahal he was so in love with her yeah. he was so wild about her so he built this massive mausoleum That's right. and the wife body is supposed to be buried in it but the, the place is beautiful I mean the design I'm an architect buff and I love the architect people come from all around the world. And a lot of folks don't even know it was built for a woman. That's right. Amen. But uh, she won't be able to take it with her. No. In fact, she's dead. It's obviously she didn't take it with her. That's right. And the man that designed it and had it built, yeah. he died. That's right. Well, when the Lord come, every building, every bar of gold, every dollar filled with, do you hear the old man? That's right. God has proven to you over and over, you don't own nothing. Oh, no. You have heard me say on many occasions, God bring a strong rain and dams break, rivers just overflow. Your house that you just built now is an ark. That's right. Huh? That's right. And man, you all on top of the roof waving for helicopters to come get you. Yeah. Banks and your money's all washed away in the banks until grave sites now vomit up the dead. That's right. And man, God ignite a fire. He let a drought hit areas of the world and then all of a sudden he sent lightning from heaven to hit the earth yeah. spark a fire make people run out of their mansions right. houses get burnt down cars get burnt down wives get burnt up yeah. husbands, husbands get burnt up children get consumed into ashes what is God not what God is trying to tell you God don't try to tell you nothing oh no He's God. That's right. Glory to be to God and he speak very loudly. That's right. God wants you to understand. God wants you to come to the realization nobody own nothing. Oh, 
In fact, you don't even belong to yourself. That's right. To the Lord our God said all souls is mine. That's right. You better hear this high-minded, stiff-necked, hard head, rebellious party, go a party, seek a pleasure lover. Oh, yeah. You may as well understand that you only have the breath in your nostrils before your Lord, your oh, yeah. creator, your oh, yeah. God. It doesn't matter if you come along and say, I don't believe there's no God. Talk your foolish talk. That's it doesn't right. stop. God from being God at all. That's right. At the appointed time, he would have altered the rhythm of your wicked heart. That's right. Shortened the breath in your nostrils. You may be healthy now. Right. You ain't got to be sick for God to give you. No. You better give me the book, book of, of Job, Job quickly, son. That's right. Amen. I want to talk about the wealthy folk. That's Amen. Right. You get wealthy now, but in a moment, God pour you right down to the grave. Job 21 and verse 13. Follow me in your Bible. They spend their days in wealth. I want to, I want to cram scriptures on you. Oh, yeah. Amen. What time I have left. They spend their time. They spend their days. In wealth. Being rich. And in a moment. What? In a moment. How quick? In a moment. Please tell the viewers what happened in a moment. Go down to the grave. In a moment. How do they spend their days? They spend their days in wealth. And what happened? And in a moment, go down to the grave. You got your yacht? Hallelujah. With a bunch of looking hookers on it, mm. making your videos. That's right. Amen. With their half naked bikinis, shaking their behind for the camera to sell your records. That's right. So you exploit young girls. That's right. Who are doing anything for a dollar? They spend their days in wealth. Got gold all over your teeth. Yeah. And got a mansion and no one living there but you. That's right. Amen. Something. Amen. Amen. I mean, if you want a mansion, that's your business. Yeah. If you work for it, that's your business. That's your business. If you want a yacht and work for it, that's your business. That's your right. That's right. But I'm taking this route to show you after you get it, yeah. you can't take it with you. That's right. You might as well come along and serve God with it. That's right. Huh? They spend their days in wealth. Spend their days in wealth. And hallelujah. Glory to God while you're rich. And in a moment, in a moment go down to the grave. I realize that. I mm. see. That. See that I understand that. That's right. That's why I refuse to get caught up in any blessing that God gives mm. me. Go ahead. Amen. I don't care what it is. Go ahead. Man. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. There's Amen. nothing Amen. that God has ever placed in my hands Wonderful. that I got caught up in. Amen. You know why? I know where it came from. Yeah. And I know where it's going. That's right. Well, when you keep that priority right, yeah. uh, you you'll keep God at the top of your agenda. That's right. Glory to God, and you will keep Him there. That's right. You know how many men is puffed up and exhausted with the church not even half this size. Amen. Not even half the size of our lower auditorium. Yeah. Puffed up like a blowfish. That's right. And ain't got nothing to be puffed up about. That's right. When you understand, nigga, you came in the world, nigga, you shall return. And all praises is due unto God. You, oh, yes. You'll come back to reality. Oh, yes. You better read quick, son. They spend their days in wealth. Spend their days in wealth. And in a moment go down to the grave. What is it? Therefore they say unto God. Oh, look how arrogant they are. This is the way many rich folk think and many high-minded folk think. Look at what they say to God. Therefore they say unto God, depart from us. Leave me alone. For we desire not the knowledge of thy way. I don't want to be holy. What is I don't it? want to learn nothing about no Jesus. That's right. I don't want to hear no Bible. That's right. That's right. Ain't nobody gonna control my life. That's right. That's right. That's you, Miss Thing. Yeah. Amen. That's you, Mr. Thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> have your fun now. That's right. Have your fun now. You go ahead. You know, you're like a person, amen, that done robbed the bank and you got police chasing and you're laughing and driving and driving. And you saying to yourself, why in the world are they driving so slow? You burning up your fuel. That's right. Driving, burning up your fuel. Next thing you know, a tire get flat. And now you just keep driving, never tire get flat. Yeah. You weaving and dodging and thought you got away from them. Thank God, but now a helicopter's overhead looking at you. Okay. He done made a right turn on Main Street. He done <laughs> went down it. Now he's at 67th Street. Oh, he's stuck now. That's right. He's stuck now. His engine is out now. He <laughs> jumped out the car, hopping fence, and now behind that fence is a pit bull. He done jumped back over the street. <laughs> That's right. That's true. Hey! That's right. Run it! Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, you're running. And that's yeah. what you're doing now. Oh, yeah. And man, you're running. I want to educate you. I want to educate you real good. You're self-centered, self-righteous, arrogant thing. I don't care what none of you have. <laughs> Amen. I don't care if your bed is so big, it's 2,000 square feet, 
even. My Lord. Amen. Until you need the fire department every night and they ladder to go up in the air just for you to get in your bed. My Lord. Or you got to be dropped in on your pillow from a helicopter. Amen. What do I care? That's right. You bear this thing in mind, your little house, even if it's a mansion or a yacht, anything under the sun. I, you see, I believe in taking a Bible approach <laughs> towards right. life. That's right. And when you take a Bible approach towards life, Anything God give you, it'll never have you. You will have it, That's but it'll right. never have you. That's right. You will understand that when God take you, you can't take none of the material yeah. blessings with you. That's right. And you get caught up. Sometimes some people say, when I get money, uh, you won't know who I am. That's an admission. You're a fool. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's you, right. If any man or any woman ever tell you, when I get money, you won't know who I am. Yes, I will. You're a fool. Amen. That's I will right. know you a fool. That's right. Huh? That's right. Because if money make you stop being a sister, money make you stop being a brother. See, a person talk like that is not used to money. Yeah. Amen. So in their mind, they still a bum. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah. I mean, they, 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 they still right. mentally, they still a bum. That's right. They still weak. In fact, the money made them more simple. That's right. More arrogant. They yeah. become they become braggish. That's right. And arrogant. Now they think they're doing you a favor by being in your presence. You are no better than that dung that dropped from a cow to fertilize land. That's right. Because you soon be planted in the dust to fertilize the earth and the worms will consume your pockets. That's right. Hey! That's right. What is that? They spent their days in wealth. I'm taking this root that slap the arrogance right out of your mouth. That's right. You can look at some folk they got the chew on, they chew on arrogant gum just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, brother? Yeah. yeah. That's right. How you doing, sister? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Chewing on arrogant gum, and uh, here we come with the word of God straight from heaven. Pile! Oh, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Knock the slow motion out of you. Slow motion, that's right. I ain't impressed with nobody. I know millionaires. Amen. I know millionaires that watch the program. Amen. Sometimes we talk. Amen. I know millionaires, but they, and I had some tell me, uh, they call me Reverend Jennings because they don't know no better. That's I mean, right. one millionaire white brother, he said, you, you really not impressed with nothing, are you? I said, no. <laughs> I said, no. I said, let me tell you uh, something, uh, brother. When you die, you're going to change colors. You're going to get ashy. <laughs> Amen. Right. I, I don't write to his face. I say, when you die, you're going to get ashy. And, Amen. Your, your heart won't be able to function. You won't be able to see none of your money. That's right. Nothing. You won't be able to enjoy your house, your cars, nothing. You will be planted in the dust. And when you stand before God, the only thing you have to offer him is the cars you collected in the house you got. And no holy, sanctified right. life, you're going to be dropped in hell. That's right. Oh, yeah. I don't care. Go ahead, man. Go Hallelujah. ahead. Go and take off. Hallelujah. Let's be God. Go ahead. I don't care what nobody has. That's right. Nobody. Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. I mean, Preach it, nobody. Man. I don't care what you have. That's right. Because the Bible said they spend their days their in wealth. Days in wealth. And in a moment. And in a moment. Go down to the grave. You go, you die. Oh, That's yeah. right. Uh -huh. Therefore, they say unto God. This is your attitude, Miss Self Righteous. This is your attitude, Miss Self Righteous. Mr. Self-Righteous, because you got some little name brand glasses and little That's name right. brand That's shoes right. and little Brook Brothers suit and Brook Brothers overcoat and uh, Stacey Adams and ahead, Pierre Cardin belt and, uh, and Cracker Jack box, Cracker Jack box cufflinks and, That's right. hey man, and the Walmart glasses and what do I care? That's right. Go ahead, man. Dumb, ignorant, hell-deserving thing. Amen. You're so full of hell. Oh, yes. And then you teach your children and your wife got all dirty, snotty nose up in the air. Mm. I'm better than any time you ain't living holy, you not better than a dog. That's right. In fact, let me say this. When you're not living holy, a dog is better than you. Better than you. You know, someone say, well, how can you say that? Because a dog life, a dog is not disobedient to God. That's right. The dog is doing exactly what God made it to do. That's right. But God made man for his glory. Yeah. And when that man failed to give God the glory, that dog is better yeah. than you. That's right. Yeah. They spend their days in wealth. They spend their days in wealth. 
and in a moment go yeah, down to the green. My children are successful and get rich, and then can't, uh, and then going to disown me as their father and disown my wife as their mother. Then my children ought to die and go to hell. That's right. And I pray that God make them bankrupt and they lose everything, everything. <laughs> Until they down to leaves, don't even have draws. My Lord, down to leaves, and <laughs> amen. Until God do them like He did Nebuchadnezzar. Right. Nebuchadnezzar, you know, sometimes it takes God to slap you down, yeah. and then your understanding come back to you. Because right. a lot of time, people were faithful to God before they had. Yeah. That's true. Oh yes, that's true. If you work and get a Bentley, fine. fine. Drive to church with it. That's right. That's yeah. right. Well, if you work and you pull up in a Maybach, Amen. fine. Okay. Amen. Better still read. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Amen. In other words, you want to be saved so that not even materialism yeah. affect your spiritual development. That's right. Nothing. No. Hallelujah. 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 Nothing I said. That's right. Nothing. That, that's why you got to be stand. You got to stand, stand fast. fast. Stand fast. Oh, yes. You got to include fasting yes. so you can stand. Yeah. Yeah, because right. when God brought you out the world, he liberated you. He fought for you. That's right. He got the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God he got the devil off your back. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Get the devil off your back. Now you can run towards him. Hallelujah. But now you got to fight to stay with him. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. When I hear men and women talk, brag about what I got this. I got that. I ain't never had this. I ain't never had that. When money changed you, use a buffoon. That's and a I'm telling you, right then, your life is being threatened by the hand of God. That's right. And man, God will smite your house and burn it down. That's right. Take your business and fold it up. Amen. Amen. Take everything you have. I'm telling you oh, what yes. you think Nebuchadnezzar example is for. That's right. Nebuchadnezzar was a king. Some of us ain't got no throne. We just got an easy boy, a lazy boy chair. Yeah. And we puffed up inside ourselves in that. That's right. I don't care what nobody has. No. Nobody. I'm so glad God made me like this. That's wonderful, brother. I am. I'm so glad God made me like this. That's wonderful. Because if God, if God would not have made me like this, and I, I would be high-minded and exalted. And I'm glad... Uh, God made my wife the same way. Wonderful. Amen. You know, a woman loves nice things, but because a woman loves nice things, that don't mean she's a materialist. That's my right. wife is not a materialistic person. I couldn't marry a materialistic woman. Amen. No, because a materialistic person is greedy. Yeah. And when you can't afford to do something, they'll rise your back. When am I going to get this? When am I going to get that? When am I going to get the almost preaching? When am I going to get the other? Ha! When am I going to get this? Ha! When am I going to get I don't want that. That's right. No, sir! That's right. Not that. Not that. Mm -mm, not that. No. When a woman is a materialist, she'll try to push that husband to go out there to venture out above his means. Yeah. And when he's weak, he'll put his money out there for what he can't afford, then it'll backfire on him, and then he'll lose everything. That's right. A wise man don't try to keep up with nobody. No. Yeah. Hey Amen. When a man is wise, he don't try to keep up with nobody. nobody. Nor would he try to buy something to impress anyone. Yeah. When a person tries to impress something, that's the mindset of a child. That's when right. you came up and had a truck, you want to impress your friends. You know, I, you want your bike is better than theirs. Yeah. And so you try to pop as many wheelies as you can. Or you, you look at the hot wheel cars and your hot wheel oh, cars yeah. and your truck. No. Why? Trying to imp impress. impress. Amen. When you're like that, you got the mindset of a child, even if you are an adult. That's right. Amen. I ain't trying to impress nobody. I don't care what you got or what you don't got. Only thing I want you to have is God and salvation. That's it. So you don't go to hell. That's it. Eh? All right. They spend their days in wealth. Praise the name of the Holy Father. Right. Amen. Blessed be God. They spend their days in wealth. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. But what? And in a moment. How quick? In a moment. In a moment. Go down to the grave. I, was, I, I, I can appreciate the, if God made a uh, shade, a millionaire, and all of a sudden he changed up on me. Oh, Pastor Jenner, I, don't, I, I can't travel with you. Why? Well, because, you know, I, I, I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do the other. I'm going, I'm going to Hawaii. I'm going to Acapulco. I'm going to Mexico. <laughs> you know, I'm going to Africa. I'm like, where are you going there? Well, you know, I couldn't afford these places. So uh, and all of a sudden, missing every convention and all that stuff. 
I pray that God put a hold in everything he got. Oh, that's right. Because there's nothing under the sun that's greater and more important than serving your Lord. That's right. That's right. I am a living witness. If you put God first, he promised that's right. he will open up oh, yeah. the windows of heaven. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he say, pour you out the Lord God. Hallelujah. Pour you out. Go ahead. Blessings. Blessings. Thank God that you won't have room. Room enough to receive. To receive. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God promised it. Oh, yes. Amen. But when I meet up on a man, and I know men and women that are like this. Oh, yeah. Amen. There's no way. There's no way I would buy a house for myself for a half million dollars. And yet, I got a church that's about to cave in. <laughs> no way. That's right. No. Even, I, I'm talking about out of my own pocket. That's right. I won't do it. That's right. Even if I can afford it. Yeah. If I got it, if I, I wouldn't buy a house for $3 million. And yet, I got a church. The windows is boarded up. <laughs> I got about 1,500 pots on the floor to catch the leaks. Amen. There's not a love in you yeah. for God and God's work. That's right. You will neglect God's work to please yourself. To please yourself. I have neglected myself and my family for years. Wonderful. To please God and help the people of God and build a work That's right. to where it is today. That's right. And my wife can bear witness. Yeah. I have neglected myself and my family. Amen. And have done it for years. Oh, yeah. And I bear witness of God's word that he'll pull out blessings. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. That you won't oh, yeah. have room enough yes. to receive. Yes. Amen. I've, I've taught my wife and taught my children Amen. put God first. I've taught my wife that before we even got married. Yeah. God first. Hallelujah. God first. Wonderful. Hallelujah. God Wonderful. put that in me. Yes, sir. Wonderful. Hallelujah. God first. Hallelujah. That God, no one can make me believe anything that's opposite from that. God first. I tell my children, put God first. Yeah. Amen. If you're about to die, put God first. Hallelujah. If you lose your job, put God first. Hallelujah. If you're hungry, put God first. That's right. All these things shall be added unto you. Shall be added. That's right. Hallelujah. Help me, Lord. Put God first. Help me now. Go ahead, brother. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, I'm a living witness. God knows I am. And my wife is a living witness. And my children is a living witness. Wonderful. Put God first. Wonderful, wonderful. Amen. Hallelujah. Put God first. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Put God first. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's been time, you know, a lot of times people love to give me things. Yeah. Amen. Love to give me and my wife things. There have been times people have given me thousands of dollars for me and my wife, and I've given it to the church. Wonderful. Yeah. Amen. Wonderful. Times people have given me thousands of dollars, and I have used it as a down payment for a new church and Wonderful. never told nobody. My Lord. Amen. Gave me thousands of dollars. Many churches that are set up today because the down payment came out of the pocket of my wife and myself. Wonderful. Of money what people gave us. And I wanted the church there so bad. I went on to use it as a down payment. And the only one know about it, uh, mostly, is my financial secretary. Yeah. She said, well, we ain't got it. I said, well, someone gave me such and such and such a thing. Here, we're going to put this on. She said, but Pastor Jenner, I said, but nothing. We're going to do God first. Wonderful. We're going to Hallelujah. take God. We're going to do God first. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's wonderful. Do you regret it? No. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Wonderful, brother. Okay, brother, the reason why I don't regret it, I'm, I'm reaping today. Yes. The benefits of what God has blessed me to do. My wife is reaping as a result of it. Wonderful. My children and the church is reaping the benefits of it. Wonderful. Wonderful. Put God first. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Lord, 
of God. Wonderful, wonderful. They wonderful. spend their days in wealth. They spend their days in wealth. And in a moment, go down to the grave. Go down to the grave, quick now. Therefore they say unto God, depart from us. Arrogant, hallelujah. Arrogant, self-righteous, right. self-centered. That's right. That's right. Get so high, man, to tell God. Depart from uh, us. It says, when did you get so much that you mind, your mindset is now, oh, I don't need God. Yeah. How did you get this sick mindset? I don't need God. My Lord. God ain't never did nothing for me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you breathing? Yeah. Are you talking? Go ahead. Are you eating? Do you have a roof over your head? Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Glory be to God. Always remember, you live by God's permission. Yeah. You sleep, hallelujah, by God's permission. That's right. You walk. Oh, God, God, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Lord. God, that's a, that's a rule I would live by till I die. Amen. God first. Amen. Lord, God, I, 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 I'm very blessed today. That's I stuck to that rule. That's wonderful. And, uh, Hallelujah. Lord, God, somebody say, was it difficult? No. Wonderful. No, it wasn't difficult for me. It may be difficult for some people, but it wasn't difficult for me. Yeah. Because all blessings come from him. That's right. And that all blessings come from him. Put God first. Wonderful. Are you listening to me? Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Sometimes I tell my wife, look, I'm going to give this to the church. She'll say, well, all right. We got the bills. I said, that's all right, brother. Make sure that you don't worry about that. That's wonderful, brother. I said, don't you worry about that. You just follow my lead. You'll be all right. Wonderful, brother. You'll be all right. I won't, I won't lead you blind. Don't worry about that. Amen. Just follow the apostle. You'll be all right. Yes. Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Just follow the apostle. You'll be all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore, they spend their days in wealth. You know, sometimes it's a hard concept for some people to accept because they can't see what you see. That's right. You know, so I understand sometimes if there's some reluctance to stay or like, <laughs> I, I tell her sometimes, you can't see what I see. That's right. She said, well, how you know? I said, you can see what I Glory to <laughs> God, you can't see what I say. But Jesus said, believe for the very work. See. That's right. And I'm telling the world, God has worked a wonder in the earth. Yes, he has. Amen. In fact, God said, I'll work a work in your day. Yeah, whereby no man shall believe, even though uh, man declare it unto declare you. Declare it unto you. God has taught me well. Yes, he has. Put him first. And he has stand behind you. Beware, therefore. Listen at this. In the book of Acts, chapter 13, and at verse 40. Beware, Beware therefore, therefore, lest that come lest upon that you. come upon you. Which is spoken of in the prophets. Which is spoken of in the prophets. Behold, you despise us, and wonder, and, and perish. perish. For I work a work in your days. Look at here. Look at here. Are you hearing this? For I work a work in your days. I work. A work, work. in your days. A work which ye shall in no wise believe. Though a, man Though a man declare it unto you. He's telling you all about it. That's right. <laughs> oh, praise his great name. Hallelujah. And I, and, I, and I see the fulfillment of it now. Oh, so, yeah. Don't make me so about it. Go back to the book of Job. So I can knock off, knock off quickly. Come on, Wayne. Back in Job 21, we're at verse 13. All right. They spend their days in wealth. They spend their days in wealth. And in a moment go down to the grave. They Therefore they say unto God, depart from us. Don't ever get so arrogant, so high-minded, so beside yourself. You tell God to depart from us. Depart from us. Leave you alone. You're too good for church now. Mm, no. You too good for church? Why? Because of what you have? Come on. Lord. I can drive anything under the sun and it don't change me. That's right. Amen. That's right. I don't care what it is. That's right. It won't change me at all. Wonderful. When I see my brother drive up in something, thank God I'm home. Amen. When I see my brother Kevin drive up in that beautiful Audi. He get out, he go in, Kevin, and he come out, Kevin. He's he he been the same since I know him. That's right. Stay clean. Stay very clean. Oh, yes. Very mannerable. Very well, very down to earth. That's right. Amen. That's right. Not high-minded. Not arrogant. No. You know, some folk, they come off body. <laughs> you think they came by him. the king. That's right. I find in this and arrogant. I hate to be around people like that. Yeah. Think there's so much. You go in a person's house, your furniture too good to even sit in. That's true. How perverted you can be. That's true. That's the way many of you are that are watching. Yeah. You got a china closet. You won't even you won't even eat out of those dishes. <laughs> Same for guests. And you don't even have guests at your house. Amen. Huh? Amen. 
Yeah, man, got crystal and all that stuff and won't even drink out your glass. Well, this is real crystal. I wouldn't care if it came from a crystal cave. That's right. Certain silverware you won't use. I don't believe in that trap. That's right. I drink out of any glass in the house. <laughs> and then I, I, I get some nasty quick and mix it with some milk and drink it. Drink out it. Out of the crystal glass. That's right. What do I care? I get a bowl of crystal, put some Captain Crunch with crunch berries in it, and some milk or some cocoa for cocoa. Yeah. Cocoa. That's right. Eh? Amen. What do I care? Wonderful, brother. That's wonderful. You realize that you are created for God's glory. Mm -hmm. And he made you to serve him. That's it. Hallelujah. Anytime something in your house too good for you to use, mm -hmm. you don't need it. That's right. It's too good for you to use. That's right. And you got people that have this sick, arrogant, and high-mindedness. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Save silverware for a certain a king. For what? For what? <laughs> you don't need it. That's right. Use it. Got a coffee pot. Need a new coffee pot. Got one sitting in the cabinet. Won't even use it. That's well, that's a special coffee pot made by such and such. And I don't want to use it. Why not? That's right. I, I want a cheaper one. You got one sitting right there. That's right. Use it. Yeah. That's right. Do you see the food stinking? Yeah. You see the ignorant thinking? Amen. I don't care if your silverware is trimmed with ivory from a elephant's tusk. <laughs> Use it. That's right. Oh yeah. Hmm? That's right. Use it, I said. Yeah. You gonna own something you can't use? Really? Or oh, take God, it ain't worth having. Am I right, Lulu? Yes, sir. <laughs> I want you viewers to hear this. That's right. Real quick so I can knock off Williams. They spend their days in wealth and in a moment go down to the grave. Yes. Therefore they say unto God, depart from us. Depart from us. For we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. I had a man write me and said, you preach against people driving Rolls Royce. No, I don't. I preach against people stealing to get something. That's right. You get a few work to buy Rolls Royce, that's your business. That's your business. Yeah, you got that right. You work hard, you can buy any car you want. That, that's your business. You work hard, you can buy any size house you want. That's your business. That's right. What I preach against is when you break the law to get it. That's it. That's it. You break the law to get what you're doing, you're you going to go to hell. That's right. And you don't deserve what you got. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. The opportunity presents itself to break the law. Don't be tempted to break it. That's right. Because the Bible said obey magistrates. That's right. Any money you got, you broke God's law to how hell you go. That's right. So he that getteth riches and not by right. Hear this. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 11. He that get riches. And not by right. Not by right. Shall leave them in the midst of his days. You're going to leave them in the midst of your days. And at his end. At his end. Shall be a fool. Oh, glory to God. At his end, he's going to be what? At his end shall be a fool. He's going to be stupid. <laughs> That's right. It's all over, he's gonna be stupid. That's right. A fool. A fool. Finish up Job real quick now. Back in Job 21 and verse 14. Yeah. Therefore they say unto God, Depart from us. They say to God, Please get away from us. For we desire, we desire not the, the knowledge, knowledge of, of thy ways. ways. What is the Almighty? Look at the arrogance. Look at the attitude. What is God? That we should serve him. And that's the way people think? Oh, yeah. yeah. What is God that we should serve him? And what profit should we what have? What shall we gain? If we pray unto if him. If we pray unto him. Lo, their good is not in their hands. You mean to tell me what you own? My Lord. You're so busy so worrying busy. about going on vacation with your wife and your children. Yeah. You don't even pray. You don't fast. You don't do nothing. That's right. That's right. But so busy counting up your money. Oh, I got this. I got this. Who cares? <laughs> That's right. I don't care if you got as much money as a rat got cheese. Amen. That's right. Eat cheese. Amen. <laughs> right, one thing about God, I love the way he can bring you down to earth. Yes, he can. What, did he say? what is the Almighty that we should serve him? And what? And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? What is it? Lo, their good is their not in their hands. Not in their hand. The counsel of the wicked is the far from me. The counsel of the wicked is far from me. How oft is the how candle of the, the wicked, put, of the out? wicked put out? And how oft cometh their destruction upon them? You better repent. Repent. You will stop being a fool yeah. now and getting caught up in what you got. That's right. 
If you got a mansion, if you got a, a whole collection of cars and you work to get it and you work by right, not your business and that is your right. That is not what we preach against. What we preach against is when you break the law to succeed in any area of life, Amen. and even if you got it lawfully, don't forget, it's all in vain. That's right. Acts 38 says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent. There it is. Amen. Are you ready now, viewer? Are you ready to give your life over to God? Wonderful. Are you going to the club after this webcast go off? Hmm. Or after this telecast you go off? Which, what, what, what you going to do now? Can't make up your mind? Your girlfriend pulling on you with that whiskey? Blowing smoke in your stinking breath. Mm. Uh, mouth smell like a beer can and a whole pack of cigarettes. Yeah. It's a disgrace before heaven. You better hear this. Oh, yes. You that's trying to whether decide whether to walk with God or not. The mm. Bible says stand fast. Stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. Be not entangled again. With the yoke of bond. When God freed you, don't go back. That's right. The Bible says, then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission, for the remission of, sins. of sins. Meaning to get your sins washed away. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Anybody want to get on God's side tonight? Be baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet if you want it. Hallelujah. If not, the world heard it tonight. That yes. means they got a belly full. Yes, they did. They got a belly full. Hallelujah. Prioritize. 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 Always put God first. I don't care what nobody has from no place. That's right. Amen. Sometimes they brothers get a new car. President, how you like it? Fine. Thank God for it. Stay <laughs> humble with it. That's right. Get a new house. Pastor Jenny, I want you to come bless my house. Well, I ain't got time. <laughs> you bless your own house. Bless your own house. <laughs> I ain't got time. You bless your own house. That's right. Pastor Jenna, I got about 24 acres. Thank God for you. Make sure you use it right. Don't rent it out to break the law. That's right. In other words, I don't care what nobody has. Yeah. I don't. You know, I, I just don't get caught up in that stuff. No, I you don't. As men, we most men love cars. That's true. I mean, oh, yeah, I love cars, especially vintage cars. Somebody oh. wrote me, Pastor Jenna, I heard you like classic cars. From what year? Well, being that you want to know, from the 40s and the 30s up to about the middle 50s, and it depends upon what name brand. Mm. Amen. I love vintage, vintage, classic cars. I love that era. Yeah. Amen. I love that era. I wish I could go back to that era and preach the gospel and then come on back up now. <laughs> I wish it was possible, you know, the little tab that come out your Bible? I wish it was possible, like a stick of dynamite, I can light it and ride by your church and throw the whole book there. <laughs> While the false prophets in the pulpit, I'll blow them clean out of it. <laughs> I love this thing. I do. Yes, hey, how do you encourage it? It hurts, Williams. Oh, yes. It does hurt, and it's tough, but God knows I love it. Amen. Amen. I don't know why out of all these people in the world, God sent them made a preacher out of me. I don't know. But he made me a hallelujah. Glory to God. And he made me a honest preacher. Yes, he did. And man, I won't steal from nobody. That's right. At all. That's right. Amen. Amen. I don't believe you're an honest preacher. Your unbelief don't faze me at all. No. I'm an honest preacher. Yes, you are. And that's one of the reasons why God have blessed me much. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God have blessed me much. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. He made me an honest preacher. I'm a brutal honest person. Yes. Amen. I believe in harsh reality. Oh, yeah. That's right. Up in your face reality. That's right. Why? God don't lie, and I'm determined mm -hmm. to go back with God. Wonderful. Viewers, that's why God has made me a very, very, very plain spoke man. Yes. Amen. I don't preach for money. Ain't nobody going to give you money for this? No. Mm -mm. Nobody give you money for assassinating their wife that's and choking right. their husband with the Bible. <laughs> they won't do that. No, they won't. Amen. But we thank God for the power of the gospel. And that's bringing people of all ages, of all races, of all nationalities coming to walk with the word of God. So again, I want to greet Bishop Carter. Uh, we, like I mentioned, that's the brother that came from T.D. Jake's church and how he's baptizing the people over. He was telling me today how two of, two of his ministers flew in, flew in from Belize to, to get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> baptizing them over. Amen. You know when you're humble and sincere, you, this, this you will do. Oh. I believe one scripture said, this will I do, 
if God permit. May God keep you. May God preserve you. To my enemies, give me your thumbs down if you haven't done it already. I expect to get your thumbs down. You're moving too slow. Kind of move quick. And if you don't do it on this message, turn in again on the other message and give me your thumbs down on that. I thank God for your thumbs down. I thank God for you pointing where you're going. That's right. That's right. All right. <laughs> Let us all stand. Hallelujah. Then the man Stasiak will close us out in prayer. Hallelujah. <laughs> Heavenly Father, once again, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we do thank you, O God, for being the everlasting, ever living God. Yes. We thank you, Lord God, for your word that was preached this day. Thank you, Lord. We pray, O oh God, you let it go over the airways to the listeners, to their hearts. Yes. Give them understanding, O oh God, that they may obey thy word and turn from the error of their way. O oh God, that they may repent of their sins, be baptized in your name, and receive the Holy Ghost, O oh God. Help us, Lord Jesus, to get away from vanity and all of that was which condemn us in this life. O oh God, because we know, Lord God, that the dead do not praise thee, neither them that go down in silence, but we will bless thy name from this time forth and forever. Amen.